Welcome back to Yanni and Demand Channel. Today, I'm going to be solving a case where a storm knocked down that tree to land it exactly here. And took the tree down, but there's one thing that is still good. The tree is alive. It, as you can see, this tree has roses or these kinds of pink flowers. I don't know my flowers very well. So what I'm trying to explain is that you see they're still alive. If they wouldn't have these flowers, then they were probably not. That's a signal it's not alive, but they are alive. So we are gonna use a certain amount of tools, which include the channel lock, the cutters and pliers to do a large amount of work but the reason why I'm not going to tell you is because that's for you to see later because I want you to stick with me. So this is not going to fix it forever. The cable tie will probably have to stay there forever. The wood will not regrow but it will pro provide structural support so that we can actually make the tree go correct so it actually can go up, not sideways. Very not com comfortable having a sideways tree on three quarters of our of our past here. As you can see, the tree is quite big, so this is actually not gonna make it go up as much. It's just gonna do practically this, and then we'll do it probably in a future video. Could be our next video or or second to next, but that's for later. We will be able to probably prop the tree up higher later. But for now, we have to fix it. Otherwise, it's got to... Because this tree will not last much longer split. And just to let you know, if you're wondering where the tree was, it's been enough time that, a tree, that we took the tree away. There's a lot of evidence of the tree. The tree was actually very good, but until it fell right here. And also, this bridge is slightly not happy. This bridge also broke. And it looks much better fixed than not fixed. But it's going to be difficult using one hand and a cable tie because I don't know how cable ties are supposed to be done with one hand. And often when people do hand hand work, they get more than one person. Specifically around three or four or five, six, I'm not sure. But I'm going to need help. And I know where my help is going to come from. The younger hand than you. You should come now. Wow, Oh, I want to see this tree actually fell down. Yes. It's not like this tree. It's more like it's next to the tree. Yeah, but it also David. Now I'm going to give the channel walk to the younger Redbeard so he can actually do that part. Thank whilst you, Owen. You're welcome. Whilst I get a cable tie and I actually tie it. Uh, I'm going to do it here. Yeah, you can do it. I'm leaving you, Owen. David, I'm trying to talk to the audience. This thing actually will do it. It's just very complicated when it's near its size. And it's actually pretty difficult, so please don't laugh. It's annoying if you could laugh because I can hear you if you do. Now I'm going to use the pliers to pull the ends up. But not down. Well, are you pulling it up or down? I'm pulling it up. Good. So now I'm gonna put some more on so I can, so the way to support it because this is not gonna hold it. We're gonna tie it at the end, obviously. And, and Owen, I will also <coughs> put three more here because this is. David, I will. Several is more than one. I could tell you. Yes. But I thought you'd do it. For now, I'm gonna get this amount. I'll get more when I'm. When I need to. And I found a very natural way to put them. I'm gonna put them right here. Which 
should work. Mm, it doesn't work. Uh, it still get, works. That one's a fall. I get, um, what this one? Okay, this is a very good way of actually putting this. If I wouldn't take us on. We well, can still do it. Yeah. I'm just holding on to David, I don't need you holding it. Okay. You're not holding it. Okay, then. Now, I just gonna keep what? So that it can actually tabletop. Here. The pliers I will have to put down. I hope they actually. I'm gonna put the pliers in my pocket. Wow. And ow! Oh, ow. I'll have to put the pliers. I certainly am, but it hurts. Like, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it hurt? Uh, Our neighbors. There. Now I can take another one. Now I don't look like that anymore. Is it so simple? Because you practice. You know why it's been an easier woman? Because practice makes poop. You see him? So that's why it's been easier because he practiced on two David, items. you think I wouldn't know that? So I'm putting on much more. Now, I, now the reason why I'm doing a bunch here is not because I need to do a bunch here. It's because I need to distribute the weight amongst all of them because these cable ties, I'm not sure how much they hold. They'll probably hold a couple pounds. And these are probably probably maybe 10, 20 pounds, 30. So that's why I'm trying to put more on. And no, I don't need to put one here. But that's good. But I do need to put one here, actually. But that could be solved by putting it somewhere else, like here, where we're not going to exactly put one on. So, David, I need you to hold the pressure, the, the channel lock right here. Um, okay. Because I can't get any pressure on the thing. Yeah, this is not there. This is better. This is much harder. This, this is, is so better. hard. So now I can actually tie these better. I'm gonna have you, I have to use my belly for this. Your belly, that you're not using your belly for. Don't, oh, you are. Okay, now we're gonna have to tie it. Now it doesn't look like our brother takes my orders because he did not hold it. Well, because I had to move it and oh. I forgot how. So now I'm gonna, t using my pliers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap, I'm, I'm not gonna snap, I'm gonna pull down the end of the cable tie. And if I do it correctly, which I should, and I am, it's gonna give me a clicking or rubbing sound. Kind of hard to explain, you, you should hear for yourself, but this one, it doesn't want to. Oh, there, there. Now David is gonna put a shin lock over here so I can get a tighter grip. Now please do it correctly this time. Uh, this one was too big. I have to change the size. Okay, got it. <coughs> it to be a maximum. No. Now I'm gonna pull it down. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you something. So, the, the water over here, I did upside down. So, I'm going to have to pull it up instead. Now, this is good. Went straight into my brother's face. But the good thing, it didn't actually touch him. Oh, that's good. Yes, because it, it would probably hurt. I think these are made out of steel, right? Practically every hand in it's almost made out of steel, David. Yeah. Well, this is probably the good thing it did go out of space because this thing trampled my hands, if you recall. Yeah, I just want to be right here. And 
and probably can't pick a face, it'll probably be even worse. Yeah, and when I was recording, you know when I'm at the pub when this almost hit my gums? I don't remember that part. Oh yeah, because when I was doing this, it I'm... I have practically certain that this is gonna have to be there forever. Unfortunately, and that's just what also goes up. Uh, why does it follow again? Tight so this is what I have to tighten, actually. I hope this is actually going to be tight. No, it doesn't. There. Uh, I decided to do it here because I think it would be more better. And fit is Maybe more better I'm is not a sentence. And on fiction tweets, I'm doing this too hard, and sometimes this people have to skip because you can Peels see off the here. Bark. Because and here, I don't see the bark coming off because of this. I think it's because of a different reason. But when I look that at you all probably this, don't know. When I look at all this, I uh, know I can see that David. He said to you, you have to show that to us. It's official, they had to be at work. And this one also got to be upset at. Maybe that one was actually the wrong way up. Yeah, I think we had to pull it up normally, and that one we just already did upset at. The good thing it's the easy fix. It's upset at. Oh, I literally. Right. So I'm going to finish tightening these up. I'm going to put one here and one here. I most likely want to put this one that has to be here first. And after that, I wanted to actually show you something interesting. So actually, it has to be here. So I'm going to wait for my brother to move here, the chain lock. And after this, I wanted actually to show you something interesting. Because, well, I think you'll like it. So don't we put it right here. No. So now this is actually going to be tighter. Now I can take my pliers and I can actually pull it up. And this one I hear it's up. Yeah, it's up. So first I actually have to pull down and then up. Down and up. then up. Yeah. Ooh. So now, I wanted to show you something. Come with me. Well, now I'm gonna accidentally. So while my brother was holding the wrench here, I accidentally peeled off the bark and the tree actually looks interesting. Yeah, because so, I was accidentally doing it a little too hot. Do you agree this looks interesting? Because this looks like the kind of tree, like the kind of tree, tree? That's golden. No, not because it's golden. The kind that's expensive. There's cheaper kinds of woods and more expensive. The more expensive ones probably look better or are better for building goats or something. But I'm no tree expert. But this tree looks interesting. I, I'm not going to sell it, obviously. This is a tiny tree after all. Maybe this will grow and, and after 300 years it will be saved. And then it will be big enough and someone will cut, cut it down to build something or something. But this tree for now stands sideways, not cut. So now the younger handyman is gonna get the pliers, the cutters, not the pliers, and cut off the ends so it actually looks professional so, so you don't see all that. And while that is going on, I will be talking for you. So it actually, so if you ever saved a tree, this is the first time I saved a tree, I might have saved a tree from a couple veins or lines, but that's not really saving a tree. So, if you was honestly there would go saving a tree, knowing that it will capture carbon dioxide from the planet because of global warming and everything, and storing it and saving it, and giving us oxygen to breathe. So I'm letting you know, it is very, it feels very good fixing it. Or, we're hoping a tree live. At least one, it feels super good. So I recommend you go out there and eventually fix a tree. Maybe not from br getting broken, but a 0.1% chance of a tree falling on a tree. But 
But there's very many ways a tree could die. So, a yes. quite thing. It just fell down because it's too old. So many Dude, maybe yeah, I can do that. I'm gonna make kind. Okay. Probably because my brother could do it. So what I'm trying to explain is, is that it feels very good helping a tree, but super duper. And I think the best chance <laughs> of fixing a tree is probably by its weaning just naturally. Like I mean, just weaning. See, if this tree weaned and wouldn't have broken, which probably is very high chance if a storm knocked the tree in that direction, <clears throat> then the tree probably would have weaned in this direction if the tree wouldn't hit it anyway. So we would have to do the next treatment anyway. So that's what I'm trying to say. There's very many ways of fixing a tree. I mean, mm. many. You planting a tree feels. So, planting a tree would feel just as good, right? Because you're giving, because you're letting a tree grow. I may be able to plant a tree, but probably not this soon, because there isn't a spot for a tree right now. So. This is the conclusion. Now, I wanted to tell you certain things before you go. So, we're going to see every board practically every spring and summer and every time a, a tree is actually good. We're going to ex experience year-round because trees are save oxygen and, I mean, they make oxygen and keep their uh, carbon dioxide stored inside the tree. So. And every spring this tree looks pretty nice from what I see. So also, when I remember this tree being young because we did not move in this house recently. And when the tree was little, I was little too. So I remember this tree being little. It was like this. It was like this little. Yeah, it was like this. It was super thin. So rescuing the tree that I remember being super little. He was very good. And also, I want to thank my little brother, David, the younger handyman, for helping me with the, for, for, for using this, for using the channel walk and holding it here and cutting off the, the bits at the end. And thanking him for supporting me and thank you for my dad for filming this, for helping me, for giving me the idea, and for generally helping me with the shots and with the thumbnail and everything else that you, that a video may need. And, and also, bye. And also, before you leave, I actually planted a lima bean bean. David, but I'm gonna show this to you in a separate video. Thank. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. And also, because it's springtime, there's gonna be much more handy videos. In the winter, much. there isn't as much handyman's outside besides plumbing, really, because it's all cold and not it's really not easy. a good weather to build. David, and we're gonna get back to a lot of fun handyman's summertime, and we're gonna have pool fun and everything, everything in the summer that, that we may like. Also, there's gonna be a lot of other things I'm sorry for not giving my brother David enough time to speak because, well, eventually he burst. So I will work on giving him more time to speak in the videos. Maybe just at the end, like now. And I will look on not voting now when I want to speak. Okay, so don't, so don't forget to like and subscribe, view the vest, then last this in next videos and other videos that are not next to it. And bye. 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 Hope you enjoy.